Hello everyone. In this video, we will simplify the Boolean expression and use the truth table to prove that the two expressions are equal. Note that this question is number 18 on page 24 of the Boolean booklet. Recall that we already sketched the digital diagram for this question in previous lesson. In many cases, we don't need all of these gates in order to get to the signal that we want to achieve. Therefore, we need to use the Morgan theorem and algebraic properties to simplify this expression. Let's review the Morgan theorem. On page 21, the Morgan theorem said that if you break the bar, then you need to change the operations. So in this case, you are breaking the bar and you chain the n to the or or the or to the n. Okay, so you have a plus, you have a plus. Here you break the bar, so you chain that into a dot or the multiplication. In this case, you break the bar right there. So the operation chain into a plus, you break the bar right there. Therefore, the operation chain into a plus. So for this question, what I'm going to do is I will draw the arrow right here to show everyone that I will break the arrows. I will break the bar right where the arrow is. Okay, it's very important that we write everything down step by step. Okay, so I write the exact same thing again. But right here, I turn that into a plus. Here, I will turn that into an end gate. Okay, let's double check to see that we still maintain all our signal except for where we break the bar, we change the sign. So that's good. Okay, continue on. I will break the bar right here. Okay, so I will have A double bar, B double bar, A complement, C double complement, B double complement and C double complement. Again, I will check. So this go here is good. This chain to the opposite operation is good. This chain into the opposite operation, so it's good. Okay, so let's see what we can apply using our theorems. So A double complement, I will get back to A. B double complement, I will get back to B. So A complement. C double complement, I get back to C. Okay, so at this point, we just leave our bracket. And here I should have B dot C. And now I would like you to see that you don't need this two brackets. You also don't need that at all. So let's rewrite that. AB plus A complement C. And right here, you can just have that as BC. At this point, what you do is you are going to multiply this into the brackets. Okay, multiply into the bracket. I will write AB, BC, plus A complement C B C and note that B dot B is just B so A B C C C is just one C okay 
The next step is to realize that you have a common factor of BC. So that factor BC out, in the bracket, I have left with A plus A inverted. Okay, and from our page 21, I would like everyone to review and note that this will be equal to 1. So BC times 1, I should have BC as the final answer. So after all, we just need one gate in order to achieve our goal. All right. So the, this question also asked me to prove using true table. So if I prove using true table, it's a good idea to analyze and to see how many columns that I should have and to make sure that I don't miss any column and I cannot repeat any column. All right, okay. So I have three signals, three inputs. So that means I will have a combination of zero and one. All right, so <clears throat> I should have A, B, C. I should also have A inverted, B inverted, and C inverted. I should also have A bar plus B bar. I should also have A plus complement of C. And then I should have A bar plus B bar in the bracket times A plus C complement in the bracket. And I will let this equal to X. All right. Okay. And I should have complement of B plus complement of C. And I will let this equal to Y. All right. And I should have x plus y I should also have x plus y complement and I should also have BC so how many columns that I have one two three four five six seven a nine ten 11, 12, and 13. I should have 13 columns all together. Okay, so let's put it in here. A, B, C, A inverted, B inverted, C inverted, A inverted plus B inverted, a plus invert of C, I should get, I will write here is uh, Y, okay, I will write Y, and what is Y equal to? Y is equal to invert of B plus invert of C, and in this column, I will write X. And what is x equal to? x is equal to invert of a plus invert of b and that would a or not c. The next column I will write x plus y. Okay, the next column I invert the signal and the last column will be BC. All right. Again, we will be consistent. We will use 0 and 1. And we will make sure that the first row will be just the 4, 0. The last four row will be 1. And from here, I alternate the 0 and 1. OK. So for A inverted, I will have 1, 1, 1, 1, 
zero 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 one one zero zero one one zero zero one zero one zero one zero one zero so then I take a look at A inverted and B inverted so don't forget this is an OR gate so as soon as I see the 1 everything will be a 1 so 1 but except for the last two row I should have uh, two zeros here All right okay so my next one should be A and invert of C A and inverse of C I also have an OR gate so I just see a 1 then I make sure that I write a 1 so I would have a 1 right here here is a 0 and then a 1 this is a 0 because both signals are 0 so the rest of them will be 1 all right okay so why is b bar plus b bar okay so it is also an OR gate so as soon as it's the one I will put a one 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 this should be a zero I should have a one a one a one and this should be a zero okay for x what I should have is I should have this column and this column end together all right so if I end these two column I will have one I will have uh, zero one zero one one zero zero okay so the next step is to get these two columns together but it's an OR so with an OR I just worry if I have a 1 that's 1 1 1 so 0 1 1 1 0 okay the next step is to inverse this signal so I should have 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and now let's check B and C okay so B and C is this two columns because of an AND gate as soon as I see a zero it has to be a zero the only time I have a one when both of my inputs are one so that I have zero zero one so I have zero one zero I have zero one and one I should have one zero zero I should have zero zero and one I should have zero one and zero I should have zero one one I should have one so now check this column and this column I have the exact match of zero and one therefore I can conclude that they are equal and proven all right thank you